You know that feeling when you're dead tired at night, you fall asleep just fine, but then bam, 3am hits, your eyes shoot open and you're wide awake. No racing thoughts, no bad dream, just this strange wide energy like your body's ready to run a marathon in the middle of the night. That's high cortisol, the stress hormone, showing up when it absolutely shouldn't. Cortisol is supposed to stay low while you sleep, then rise in the morning to wake you up naturally. But when that rhythm's off, you're not just tired, you're inflamed, stressed and running on fumes all day. Today, I'll show you exactly why this happens and how to fix it fast. We're going to talk about a weird trick you can do tonight that literally rewires cortisol rhythms, the hidden reason your room might be sabotaging deep sleep, a science-backed method to get your parasympathetic nervous system back online, a few key nutrients and habits that lock it all in. And no, this isn't about buying some expensive gadget. Let's get into it. What cortisol is supposed to do? Cortisol gets a bad rap, but it's not evil. It's your body's natural alarm clock. It peaks in the morning to get you alert, focused and ready to move. Then as the day goes on, it slowly tapers off so you can wind down, sleep and repair. But here's the problem. Modern life has completely flipped that curve upside down. Blue light at night, late night emails, caffeine at 4 p.m., emotional stress, even just living in an insulated apartment with no fresh air, it all signals your body, stay alert, stay wired. Result, cortisol stays high in the evening and instead of dropping while you sleep, it spikes again in the middle of the night. That's why you wake up restless, even if you don't feel stressed. It's physiological, not psychological. The science of resetting your cortisol at night. Now, here's where it gets interesting. There's a simple way to calm your nervous system and actually resync that cortisol curve, and it's not what most people think. Study 1 Grounding and Cortisol Rhythms. A clinical study published in Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine looked at people using a grounding pad while they slept. They measured salivary cortisol every four hours over multiple days. Within just a few nights, participants didn't just sleep better their entire 24-hour cortisol rhythm normalized. Nighttime cortisol dropped to healthy levels. Morning cortisol rose predictably, so people woke up energized instead of groggy. This isn't any kind of mystical idea. It's straight biology. When your body makes direct contact with the earth, whether barefoot or on a grounded surface, it helps reduce excess electrical charge and promotes a shift towards the parasympathetic nervous system which calms you down and lowers stress. Study 2. Vagal Tone and Parasympathetic Activation in a neonatal study published in Neonatology, premature infants in incubators, high EMF environments were connected to ground through simple patches. Result? Skin voltage dropped by 95% and vagal tone, the markers of parasympathetic activity, shot up 67%. That means their little nervous systems went from fight or flight to rest and digest almost instantly. If that works for newborns, imagine how powerful it is for adults who have been living disconnected from the earth for years. Study three, sleep, inflammation and cortisol regulation. Another fascinating piece of research comes from a 2012 paper by Chevalier and colleagues, Earth in Health Implications, of reconnecting the human body to Earth's surface electrons. This wasn't just a single anecdotal trial, it was a comprehensive review of human and clinical studies examining what happens when people spend time electrically grounded. What they consistently found is that grounding doesn't just help people feel calmer, it produces measurable physiological changes. Improved sleep quality. Subjects reported falling asleep faster, waking up less often and experiencing more refreshing mornings. Reduce nighttime pain. Inflammation markers and pain perception dropped in both healthy people and those with chronic discomfort. Balanced autonomic nervous system. Measurements of heart rate variability, HRV, showed that grounding shifted participants from a fight or flight state into a parasympathetic rest and digest mode. Here's why that matters for cortisol. Inflammation and cortisol are tightly linked. When your body is inflamed at night, it pumps out stress hormones to deal with the perceived threat. By lowering nighttime inflammation, grounding directly reduces the demand for cortisol, allowing levels to stay low and steady while you sleep. Chevalier's review even highlighted thermal imaging studies showing visible reductions in hotspots 
of inflammation within 30 to 40 minutes of grounding. That's not just subjective, it's captured on camera using infrared imaging. Less inflammation at night means less cortisol output, and when cortisol stays low, deep sleep becomes much easier to maintain. What's more, participants didn't need to ground for hours. Even short daily sessions or sleeping while grounded were enough to normalize circadian rhythms and reduce nighttime awakenings. This reinforces the idea that our nervous system is not just biochemical, but also bioelectrical, responsive to something as simple as physical contact with the earth. How to implement this? The great thing, you don't need an expensive device. Here's a three-step protocol I personally use. Barefoot grounding before bed, 10 minutes. Go outside, stand on grass, dirt or concrete, not tarmac, just for 10 minutes. Sounds weird, but it drains electrical stress and signals your nervous system to wind down. Fresh air circulation in your bedroom, CO2 buildup during sleep, especially if your windows are shut tight, can trigger shallow breathing and micro arousals basically mini wake ups that spike cortisol even a cracked window a fan or an air purifier helps prevent that still room cortisol surge now something that's optional grounding mat or sheet if you live in an apartment or can't get barefoot time outside a simple grounding mat on your bed plugged into the grounding port of your outlet or staked into the ground replicates the same effect stacking other sleeping cortisol hacks grounding is the base but here's how to supercharge it glycine or collagen before bed studies show three grams glycine helps lower core body temperature and improve sleep quality which indirectly keeps nighttime cortisol low it also promotes REM sleep stability which is where your brain does most of its cortisol regulation work low dose saffron 28 milligrams saffron has mood regulating properties and has been shown to help with sleep latency, you fall asleep faster and hit deeper stages of rest. In fact, randomized control trials like Lopresti et al. 2020 found saffron improved both sleep quality and next morning alertness, likely by reducing evening cortisol output through its serotonin modulating effects. It also appears to support melatonin signals, which helps your body know when it's time to sleep. Some studies suggest saffron's bioactive compounds like crocin and saffronol have mild anxiolytic effects, calming racing thoughts that often keep people awake. Beyond sleep, saffron may even boost mood and reduce perceived stress, creating a more relaxed mental state before bed. Unlike some sleep aids, it doesn't cause morning grogginess or dependency. And when combined with grounding, magnesium or glycine, saffron can synergistically enhance parasympathetic activation, helping your nervous system shift fully into rest mode for a deep restorative night. Probiotic or fermented food at dinner. A healthy gut microbiome actually affects cortisol metabolism. One human trial showed that specific probiotics lowered perceived stress and improved sleep efficiency. Fermented foods also produce short chain fatty acids that signal the brain to shift towards parasympathetic rest mode before bedtime. Magnesium glycinate. This one's obvious but powerful. Magnesium is a natural laxer for the nervous system and reduces nighttime cortisol spikes. It also helps your GABA receptors work better, meaning your brain has an easier time staying calm through the night. Why this works beyond just feeling relaxed. Here's the bigger picture. Your nervous system is electrical first, chemical second. Every heartbeat, every nerve signal has an electromagnetic component. When you're constantly insulated, rubber shoes, concrete floors, no outdoor contact, your body builds a slight electrical charge adding stress to your system. By grounding and reintroducing your body to Earth's natural 7.83 Hz frequency, you lower cortisol output, shift into parasympathetic mode, reduce nighttime inflammation, improve heart rate variability, a key marker of stress resilience. And yes, if you're wondering about testosterone, chronically high cortisol blunts testosterone production. So better sleep, lower cortisol means indirectly better hormone balance. But this isn't just about testosterone, it's about your entire nervous system functioning like it should. What you'll notice when this works. If you try this tonight, here's what to expect over the next few days. You'll fall asleep faster, that 3am wake up will disappear or at least be less intense. 
You'll wake up feeling naturally alert without pounding coffee. Your mood will stabilize, no mid-morning afternoon crash from broken sleep. And if you track HRV or sleep stages, aura, whoop, you'll likely see deep sleep increase and resting heart rate drop. A final recap. Ground yourself daily, even if it's just 10 minutes barefoot before bed. Fix bedroom air quality, fresh air sealed box full of CO2. Add recovery nutrients, glycine, magnesium, probiotic, saffron if needed. Keep your evenings calm and dim, low light, no caffeine past noon. Consider a grounding pad if you live in a high rise. These are not expensive, they're not flashy, but they work because they reset your biology to what it expects. Calm, dark, cool nights connected to the earth. Try this for just one week. Seriously, take 10 minutes barefoot outside before bed tonight, crack a window, if you've been waking up wired at 3am, watch how fast it changes. Let me know in the comments below if you're trying this. Remember, sleep isn't just rest, it's when your hormones reset, your brain detoxes, your body repairs. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.